How surprising is it that they're trying to raise this much money as opposed to much, much more than that? I think right now is a sentiment of expectation management. Um, probably it might go further, but at the moment they're trying to actually kind of give a bit more incentive for people. A lot of discount on the indicative price range at the moment. But who knows, like depending on the roadshow, they may be able to actually raise the, the price and price above the range later on. So. We're still not sure exactly when the, the where the last valuation is going to be. Given how highly anticipated this listing really is, does it have broader implications? Is it seen as a bellwether for other tech IPOs? I think yes and no. Um, so ARM is actually really big in the grand scheme of things. So um, it's well with the valuation right now is up to 54 billion. So it's too big to be indicative of the smaller group of growth technology companies that are going to um, test the new listing market at the moment. Uh, we definitely know, especially. Um, from the reporting that 15% of the base deal is actually already taken by strategic. So there's a good base, good support to the IPO. So definitely um, is going to go ahead. It's just a matter of where it's going to be priced and how the aftermarket is going to be. But at the end of the day, the smaller group of growth technology companies, they are of a much broader range of technology kind of operations. So like ARM is actually kind of leaning towards AI, but the others are kind of more SaaS as in in, like software as a service, which the whole sector has been hampered so much um, during the 2020 2021 kind of correction in the market. So, it, the valuation gap was the multiple was down from like 16, 17 times to right now it's just seven times. So, I think it's good that it's, it has a feel good factor, but then, like, the test is really the smaller group of technology companies to come.